Um, I started Muay Thai when I was 19 years old. I just went down to a local aquatic centre with my friend and, um, and gave it a turn. But the first lesson I actually broke my wrist. So I had to have three months off while that healed. And um, you know, once it healed, then I got back into it. And I trained um, for about six or seven years in like kickboxing slash uh, freestyle karate. And then I changed over to, to Riddler's Gym to concentrate solely on, on Muay Thai and fighting professionally. But initially what motivated me to get into the sport was um, the fact that I was a little bit overweight. Um, I just turned you know, 18, 19, I was going out drinking and, and the weight was stacking on a little bit. So um, my friend, uh, she, she said, let's go down and, and try this kickboxing. So I uh, yeah, went down and, and that's, what's, that's what got me started. You know, I like to stay fit all year round. I don't like to have much time off because if a, if a fight or an opportunity comes, becomes available, I like to be able to know that I've got that fitness behind me. So I like to stay fit all year round. But when, when we have a fight coming up, you know, it's four, four to five weeks of solid training. You know, I like to do my morning sessions of, of cardio and CrossFit in the morning. And then at night time, um, we're here at Riddler's for about a two and a half, three hour session. And that just involves, you know, everything from shadow boxing, um, bag work, clinch work, pad work, sparring, and then um, our abs and, and our core work and stuff to finish off. So it ends up being about three or four hours a day. I've had a few overseas bouts over the years. Um, I reckon I've probably had about maybe 10 to 12 fights in Thailand um, against Thais. I think they've all been against Thais actually, yeah. Um, so I've beat them all on points, which is good to be able to go to Thailand and, and fight the Thais and, and beat them at their own game. Um, and then I had my fight in America at the start of the year against the American champion and, um, and came away with the world title from her. So um, yeah, I've had a good successful career overseas. The future for me, you know, like I've, I've really, I feel like I've done as much as I can do in the sport. Um, I've had, you know, so many opportunities and I've, I've got six world titles now. So um, I think the future for me is just to keep, keep training and keep fighting. I don't really have any goals or aspirations to get any more world titles or, um, you know, go, go title hunting and all that kind of stuff. I'm just purely doing it now because I love it. So, um, you know, until, until something else comes up, that's, that's what my goal is at the moment, just to do it because I'm enjoying it. As a fighter, my advice would be to make sure that it's something that you want to do, you know, 100%. Um, you know, if you, if you want to be a fighter, you're about to get in the ring with someone else that is a fighter also. So you want to make sure that you're 100% pre prepared. It's not something that you can be 90% prepared or, or even 95% prepared. You, mentally, you have to be 100% prepared to jump in that ring because that other person wants to knock your head off and win. So, um, you know, there's so many other things that go into it as well. Um, the diet. Um, you know, you sacrifice your life, your social life with your friends and your family and everything like that to make a career out of it. So if you're going to become a fighter, you've got to make sure that it's, it's 100%. The hardest part for me about training and, and, mo and Muay Thai as a sport is, you know, from the first zero to 30 fights was sacrificing my social life with my friends and my family. Um, that was really difficult because I was at that age where everybody was still going out and, and having fun and I was missing out. And um, But now, I'm a little bit older, I find that the hardest part is getting the opportunities. We're so far away from everybody. Um, being in Australia, that the Europeans, they all sort of fight, you know, their countries are so close together and they all fight together. So for them to fly me over there is, is thousands and thousands of dollars and vice versa. So it's just getting that opportunity now where I'm at that level where I, I need to um, I need to go there and, and they need to come here. So that's, that's probably the hardest part for me at the moment.